Hey Mitch, welcome to my apartment. Uh, we're in Park Slope and I'm gonna take you on a little tour of the space. It's just under 500 square feet, so it's pretty small, pretty compact. Technically a studio, the bedroom doesn't have any windows, so I think they call it a junior one bedroom. Junior one bedroom, that's such a new, is that such a New York term, right? I, I think so, like I've yeah. I've never heard that anywhere else in the world, junior one, junior two. It's like a, you know, marketing term, I think, but yeah. Do you know the history behind that term? I don't, oh. no. I think they, because they can't legally call it a one bedroom because you need to have a, a form of egress, you know, there needs to be a window mm. um, or at least two ways of getting in or out of the bedroom. Um, and because I don't have any windows, it's not legally a bedroom. So uh, everything here is actually, well, besides the stove and the fridge, cabinets, they're from Ikea, the countertops from Ikea. Um, I really kind of wanted to keep it simple and very appealing to a large audience. So I did the stainless steel on the bottom and then the white on the top. And then I have uh, slate knobs that tie in with the slate floors that we put in as well. Um, so this is the only part of the floor here and in the bathroom that we redid because I really like how the inlaid wood looks, you know, throughout the rest of the apartment. Funny enough, Ikea doesn't have any small ranges, any ranges that are smaller than like 30 inches or 36 inches. Um, and I needed a 24 inch range in order to make this plan work. So I thought that was interesting since they're all about small spaces, but I was able to find this one and design the cabinets around that. And uh, the other thing I really wanted to add was a dishwasher. Um, so I have it down here, which is great. I love it. It ties in, you know, with the cabinetry. And I wanted to make sure that I would still be able to have enough clearance in here so that I could, you know, cook and do things, which is what led me to do uh, this kind of seating arrangement with chairs on the back side. And then down here I have a bench. Um, so the bench just pulls out or pushes in if I'm not using it. Um, and it allows me to have this space um, where I can, you know, open my dishwasher and use my range and all of that kind of stuff. I really like this fruit bowl. I got it in Seattle at just a home store in Seattle and it was handmade and hand painted. Um, so I really, I really like that. And then I also love my Smeg hot water heater. Uh, it was the first like adult appliance purchase that I ever made. <laughs> so. Um, I really like that and he stays out there all the time. Uh, one other thing that I really love is this pitcher. This is actually very special and old. It's from my great aunt. So when she passed away, I, I took this and it's my little reminder of her. We're from a big Italian family, so there were a lot of times we had wine, you know, served out of that uh, throughout the years. That's beautiful, and you're continuing the tradition of serving wine out of that. Yes, right? whenever I have company over. <laughs> so these chairs are actually also based off of a classic Cheska chair. I love the caning. It has a lot of really great texture. They're made in Italy, so bringing in that Italian heritage again. <laughs> uh, but they're really cool and very comfortable. So we're in my living room right now, and I didn't do too much in here, but one thing I was curious about was this bump out. So to me, it looked like a fireplace, and I was curious if there was brick underneath it. Um, so I tested a little bit, tore, tore down some of the plaster, saw that there was brick, um, and was really excited to, to uncover this, this brick wall uh, and the fireplace cavity as well. Um, it does not work, but um, it's great to have in the space. and. Uh, I love the texture that it brings in. Was the wall white before this? No, um, so I painted it white um, just to go with the rest of the apartment. Um, I wanted the texture of the brick, but I think a brick color was a little bit too overwhelming. Um, so I painted it white with everything else.
I want it to feel warm and textured and layered, but you know, with a minimal color palette because it is such a small space. I didn't want to overwhelm it with too many colors. Um, so I kept it pretty neutral. Now, when you're designing other people's homes, um, is this kind of reflective of your own design when it comes to how you would design someone else's home? I think so. Um, I think for the most part, although I will say, you know, as, as a starter apartment, I knew it wouldn't, wouldn't be my forever home. So I, I think there was a part of me that was designing this in a way that would appeal to the masses. So keeping it neutral, keeping it timeless, um, you know, using classic materials like subway tile and the slate flooring, just to keep it, you know, keep it really classic so that someone else could love it after I move on. Oh, that's great. So it definitely raises the property value. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Tell me about this uh, Noguchi light you have here. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> this is in the style of Noguchi. Um, it is not authentic, I will have to admit, but I love the light that it gives off. It's just such a nice glow. It's really, really calming and peaceful. It's not overbearing. Um, I think lighting is something that people tend to overlook in their spaces. It's, it's really underrated, but I think it's um, one of the most important things into making a really comfortable space. Um, so I have all of these different levels of lighting um, from overhead and then as well as up lighting and task lighting. Um, it's something that I'm kind of obsessive about. Yeah, the couch is great. Um, it's actually from Interior Define. Uh, I customized the fabric and it's a sleeper sofa as well. So this pulls out if I have company over. It's actually really, really comfortable. I think this particular model is discontinued, but I, I really enjoy it. I love the linen. It gives that texture again, but it's still neutral. Um, the coffee table is vintage. It's from Dobbin Street Co-op in Brooklyn. And then I paired it with a little footstool, which is from an Amish maker on Etsy. Um, so that was, that was a cute little find as well. Um, the vase is actually something I really love as well. I got it on my most recent trip to Hawaii and I brought it back with me on the plane. <laughs> it was my carry-on. I love how it ties in with the apartment as well. This is uh, my makeshift work from home setup. Um, I just started a new job actually and so they sent me this monitor which was really great but I didn't necessarily have a great place to put it. So before I had my TV over here, but now that I'm working from home, I moved my TV into the bedroom and I have my monitor and everything set up here. So I usually pull a chair over or sit on this stool. Um, and this is where I spend most of my days now. <laughs> so this chair I've actually had, um, it's for a long time, it's from my childhood home. So I really, I really love it. I had it reupholstered though. Uh, it used to have a skirt and a swivel base. Um, and so I decided to remove the skirt. I removed some of the tufting and upholstered it in this vintage velvet. And I added the brass legs as well. So it's still the chair that I'm familiar with, but it's a little bit more updated. Some of my other favorite things in this space um, I actually have a lot of you know, family tie-ins to some of these pieces. This um, Revere Bowl, it's a brass Revere Bowl. Um, that's what they call it. And it was a wedding present to my parents um, when they got married. Um, so I have it here um, and it holds all of my matches. And these I love too because it kind of just tells the story of you know, where I've been. Every restaurant that has a matchbook, I take it. Every venue, you know, so it's a little collection of of where I've been. The art is also from my parents. Uh, it was a gift to my parents. And when I grew up in the 90s, uh, the, the, the home I grew up in was a very, uh, like, you know, colonial uh, replica. You know, that was like the big style in the day. So um, that's actually an etching of Colonial Williamsburg. Um, and I just, I just like it. It reminds me of home, so. I also listen to a lot of records. Um, I have a, probably the world's gayest record collection. Uh, a lot of Britney Spears. Um, should I show you? Show me? The How records? Sh yeah, let's see some of the records. <laughs> All right, so here they are. <laughs> We've got Baby One More Time. We've got, oops, that I did it again, the remixes. 
we've got Blackout. I did not expect it to be all Britney. Oh yeah, it's, it's pretty much all Britney. We've got her Christmas single, My Only Wish This Year. Her latest triumph, Glory, Swimming in the Stars. Then I have the soundtrack to Call Me By Your Name. <laughs> Amy Winehouse, because classic, obviously you have to have her. Lou Reed, Take a Walk on the Wild Side. Oops, I did it again, <laughs> again. Sam Smith and Casey Musgraves. <laughs> uh, now I'll take you into the bedroom and bathroom. Uh, so I did, um, like I mentioned before, my bathroom ceiling fell in on itself, um, which is what prompted the whole renovation. So I redid everything in here. I opted to do a walk-in shower instead of a tub because um, it's a pretty tight space. And then again, I kept the finishes really consistent subway tile, slate flooring, uh, and then I tried to warm it up with the oak vanity. So this is actually a Warhol print. Um, he did a series of sunsets and they're all in his you know, signature uh, kooky colors, but I love it. And it's currently hiding my electrical panel. Um, so I tried to take something that was not so pretty and put something pretty on top of it. What about that? Uh... What, a color swatch next Yes, time? so always, always planning, I guess. Um, I am in the process of moving, so I'm just thinking about what my uh, next space is gonna look like. I wanted to try and pick up some of the, you know, orange hues in here, and I was thinking maybe in the bathroom, but who knows, we'll see. So here's the bedroom. Again, like I said, no windows, so it's very cozy, which I actually appreciate. I mean, it's pretty easy to get some good sleep in here. I love, I love this space. It's, it's, I've tried to keep it really calm, really minimal. Um, so again, same color palette, a lot of whites and, and creams. Um, I had the bolster on the bed made specially for, for here. Um, it's a really beautiful mohair, and so I really love that. And the, the lights are from a company called Human Home. I just have never seen anything like it. So I thought that they were really beautiful. Uh, this vase is actually made by a friend of mine. Um, her name is Annie Parker. Um, she's a ceramicist and artist, designer, multi-hyphenate. She also lives in Brooklyn. So that, that lives here with me. And then I also really love scents. Uh, perfumes and colognes have always been really appealing to me. And I, kind of collect them as well. And this is also where Britney makes an appearance. <laughs> so not only my record collection, but my scent collection also has some Britney Spears in it as well. So is that your favorite scent? It actually is. It, this is a, a take on one of her first scents. It's called Fantasy Intense. Um, and it's, I, I love it. And every time I wear it, people are always like, what is that? And they never believe me when I tell them that it's Britney Spears. Um, so this is a definite favorite. I also love um, Aesop. It's just a great classic scent. And then one of my new favorite finds, this brand called West Third Brand. And this scent is called Crazy Enough, um, which I think is pretty accurate. This light is from Circle Lighting. They have a showroom here in New York, but I actually discovered them when I was in school in Savannah, Georgia. Um, and I believe it was designed by Erin Lauder. She, I think, is the daughter of Estee Lauder. Um, she has her own brand as well. Um, so a lot of really cool products. And that was my home tour. Thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed it.